craft makers. Today we're making this beautiful Hawaiian lei that makes you want to go straight to Hawaii. So stick around because I'm going to show you how to make it all by yourself. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start by gathering our supplies. To make your Hawaiian lei, you're going to want to grab some string, some scissors, any type of straw, so you can use plastic or paper, either one will do, different colors of cupcake liners, and then any kind of glue that you have. So you can use craft glue or school glue, either one will work. So we're gonna start by working with our cupcake liners, and we're going to be turning these into the flowers that you'll see on a lay. So with each one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to kind of fold it in half. So fold that in half a little bit, and then we're gonna cut a ruffle around the edge and it's gonna make it look more like flower petals. So you can do each one exactly the same or you can do them differently just to make them look like different flowers. So I'm probably gonna do each one a little bit different. And so I'm just gonna cut around the edge and with this one, I'm just gonna do like a scallop pattern. So a scallop, is kind of almost like a half circle that you do around the edge there. So when you open it up, it's going to look kind of like a flower, almost like the shape of a daisy. So I'm gonna do a few like that real quick and I'm gonna do them in different colors. Okay, so now that I've cut a lot of different shapes of flowers, we just need to cut a little teeny tiny hole in the middle of it. And that's where we're gonna put our straw through. And you'll see that in a minute. So take your scissors and just with every little one, just cut kind of like a little X in the middle there. It's kind of hard to do it really small, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, we're gonna put a straw through it in a minute. So once again, tiny little triangle cut out there. And you do that by just kind of doing an X with your scissors. So do it that way and then the other way. Okay, we're gonna do that for all of them. That's all done, we've got all of our little flowers there. And now we need to cut little pieces out of our straws. We don't need them to be very long. We're gonna probably use about as long to the stretchy part. So I'm actually not gonna use that part. So you can see, I'm just gonna cut it off. Careful, when you cut straws, sometimes they go flying. So make sure you're watching where they, they go. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that little springy part off. We're not gonna use it. And let's count how many flowers we have, and then we'll know how many of those we need to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we need to cut nine of these little straw pieces. So let's do that. There's nine pieces. And I'm gonna grab my glue and you can use any kind of glue for this. You can use school glue or craft glue. And I am going to put a tiny little bit of glue right kind of around that little hole that we cut out. So just a tiny bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot. Um, it's just gonna kind of smudge on the straw when you stick the straw through. So grab your straw piece that you cut out, and then you're just gonna kind of put it gently through that hole, okay? Just like that. We're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna set all mine right there. Okay, so once again, got the little hole. Okay, put the glue on there and just put the straw right in the middle kind of easier to push it up through it. Okay, once again, glue. And then we're gonna push the straw up through it. Okay, and I'll let that dry. And then I'll finish doing that with all the rest of my flowers and then I'll come back to you. I finished making all of my little flower pieces and now we're ready to finish out our lay. We're ready to put it on our string. So I have the super pretty rainbow string. You can use any kind of string that you have at home. Um, you could use yarn or maybe if your grown up only has some thread that maybe they sew with, you could use that too. 
So we're just going to be threading it through the centers of the straws that we put it on. So you'll see in a second why the straws are so helpful. So let's grab one piece that we've done and we're gonna take our end and we're just gonna put it through. Push all the way through the center. Now I'm just gonna thread lots of different flowers kind of in a pattern and try to have the flowers all kind of go the same direction. So we'll thread that on and then you'll see the reason Another reason we did the straws is that way the flowers kind of are separated from each other. So you can see those pretty flowers that we made. Are you starting to see how it's gonna look like a lei? Looks just like a Hawaiian lei. I ended up doing 18 flowers and now I'm going to tie the ends so that you can wear it like a necklace. So we're just gonna tie it in a knot in the ends. And the way that I like to do that when I am making necklaces that I want to last is I'm going to tie it almost in a knot. So don't tighten the knot yet. And you'll notice I'm leaving a little extra there. So that way that part can hang on your neck. That way you're not, you don't have these scratchy flowers on your neck. So if you leave a little bit extra, that's going to give a nice little spot for your neck. Um, so we're gonna tie our knot, but not tighten it. So don't tighten it yet. Okay, you see how I've got my knot there and it's loose. And then what I do is I take my glue and I add a little dab right in the middle. And now you can tighten it. And so when that glue dries, it's going to dry inside your knot which means your knot, it's never gonna come undone. So you don't have to worry about your necklace falling apart. So now I'm just gonna cut off those extra little ends. I always leave two little pieces just so that I can have something to tighten if I need to. And there it is. It looks just like a Hawaiian lei. You can see exactly why we use the straws. It keeps the nice little flowers that we made all separate from each other. So they don't get all bunched up together. This lei makes me wanna to go to Hawaii so bad. I hope that you had a lot of fun crafting with me. I had so much fun crafting with you today. And I will see you in just a few short days with a whole new craft. Bye. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll be posting new crafts every Wednesday and Saturday, so don't forget to subscribe.